officially when the catalogs start coming. I don't know about you, but the stack in my mailbox every day this week was like so high. But the one we really care about, of course, is this one because it is chock full of all the incredible goodies you need for holiday season. Last week, we talked a little bit about gifting. Today, we're gonna to talk about all the amazing things that are in this catalog, including books for yourself, books for a party, and you know, maybe a few little things you could kind of give along the way. So here we go. I don't know about you, we were just talking about this before we started, but I'm ready for a party. I wanna get dressed up. I wanna put on something shiny and sparkly. I wanna feel like a Christmas tree. I just wanna go for it, and this is the season to do it. Let's turn it all the way up and have so much fun getting dressed. So here's the deal. There is still a ton of this kind of high-low mix going on, and when I say that, I just mean take a sparkly top, pair it with an amazing pair of jeans, throw on your favorite party shoe, and dance the night away or, you know, sing or, I don't know, make cookies or whatever your parties look like, let's just go for it. So we're gonna start with this amazing top. This is from Eve. It's velvet, it's short sleeve. Thank you for hot parties when everyone is elbow to elbow. So fun, so fantastic. I feel like you could wear this for Thanksgiving and bring it right into the holiday season. I'm coming up close because I want you to see how rich this color is. It is the most yummy, emerald green, so comfy, runs true to size, this great little puff sleeve. I absolutely adore it. Now I'm wearing it down a little bit, right? I paired it back to a fabulous pair of jeans. You love these jeans so much last week. I popped them on again in blue. This is the Chloe Crop from Amo. What I think is fun about this jean, it's got a little bit of destruction, but not so much that it feels over the top. It's still got a fully covered leg. I love that for winter. And then just a tiny, tiny bit of nicking on the pockets and on the hem. Now, what better way to finish this jean off than with a fabulous shoe? Can we talk about this shoe? I'm here for it, I'm feeling the mule, it's so fun. This great gold color, I like the mixing of these jewel tones that feels a little unexpected and pairing it back to the jean. I mean, could this be more fun? I, I'm headed to New York this weekend for a girl's trip and I kinda wanna bring this whole situation with me and just have this be my Saturday night dinner out look. Maybe, I might do it, I might just do it. So, the thing I would always say about mules is they're kind of like sandals gang, so you might need to go up half a size in these just so you don't get that back of heel kind of hang off. The one advantage we have during this time of year, it's a little cooler, so the feet don't swell. We're talking real world here. Feet get hot in the summer, they get a little bigger. In the winter, they're a little bit cooler. So you might want to try this puppy on. I'm wearing my normal size, but you can see I'm right on the edge. So oh, my size up half a size just for comfort too for that toe. Okay. So we're talking fun party tops. I've got these great jeans on. Let's look at a few more options. Two of my absolute favorites, and you're gonna notice a theme here, velvet, velvet, velvet. It's a great way to do shine without having to be over the top sparkly. We're gonna get to that in just a minute. So starting with these two fabulous tops from Every, I absolutely love this silhouette. If you are looking for a knockout, make you look like a million bucks kind of top and you don't wanna do a really rich color, uh, this is your new best friend. So this is called the Kenna Velour Wrap Top. So what I love about it, that surf pleats top, super flattering, it has closure, thank you very much, and that great banded bottom that we are all huge fans of because it's so darn flattering on, right? Hits you right at the waist. You can kind of blouse it a little bit. You don't have to worry about tucking it in. And that nice open neckline opens you up, shows off a little cleavage for the party, and you're ready to go. Second option, ooh, love this guy. This is one of my absolute favorite images from the entire catalog because this blue is so rich. And I think kind of a fun color for holiday, right? When you don't want to go red or like I'm wearing, green. So blue. Beautiful velvet top here. I love the smocking, this really fun ruffle detail on top. And again, there's that V-neck. So if you like something that has a little bit more of an open neck, this is an absolutely fabulous way to go. This looks really chic tucked in, but I also like it just down. 
with a great pair of trousers if you want to dress it up a little bit or a little half tuck with your jean so easy to wear and these i mean look at all these fun colors i love the way velour and velvet just take a little bit of shine but don't push it too far over the top both really fabulous pieces heidi for those who just joined can you talk about your jeans once more oh yeah Again, They're loving them. I mean, can we just talk about these jeans? These went home with me last week because I had to had to have them. And I think maybe it was because of all of you because you were saying how much you loved them. I was like, I love them too. Let's just do it. So here's the deal. This is the Amo Chloe crop. Now, I love this jean for a couple of reasons. Number one, I absolutely love the fabric of Amo denim. It's sturdy but not too, too tight. Really, really comfortable. And the construction on these is A+. Plus. They have this great thicker seam that curves just a bit forward on your thigh. So for those of us with powerful legs, this is great because it gives you a little bit more curve here. The finish on the wash is always spot on. So they look a little lived in, but not too destructed. And this is more of an ankle length. On someone who's a little bit taller, these are gonna hit above your ankle. On me, they're hitting right at my ankle all the better to show off ah, your fun footwear okay so so great. they want a closer look at the shoes oh yeah you do because these are so good <laughs> it's like candy in a shoe i mean do we love this or do we love this so sam edelman fun detail here gang there's a little bit of stretch in the strap so it's going to be super comfy i love that hit of sparkle on the heel and then this beautiful satin toe and the heel is not crazy crazy high so Here's the deal. I think sometimes mules can be more comfortable than a fully closed in heel because you've just got a little bit more play, right? You can kind of wiggle your feet around. These are not just sitting shoes. These are standing shoes. These are dancing shoes. These are like socializing and mingling shoes. They're super, super fun. So Sam Edelman, and again, with a mule, sometimes I go up half a size just so I don't get that back of heel hang up. But aren't those great? They're so pretty. They're so pretty. But since I'm here, should we just talk about other shoes for a second? Okay, the minute these came in, we were all gaga over them. And part of the reason is, aside from the fact that they're adorable, so comfy. So a great little stretch boot in this kind of, I don't know, what do we want to call this? Like a dark, like a gunmetal kind of shine, glitter situation happening. But it's a sock booty gang, which what I love about this is when you're wearing it, with your cropped jeans, right? Those jeans that we have that are a little bit shorter. And the question always is, what do I wear with them? A sock booty is your answer. It shows off the shoe. So chic, these are really fun. Yes, you can mix shine. You totally can. And what I think is great about these is that they're just subtle enough that they don't feel over the top. So great to mix with velvet. You could wear them with any of these tops. Yes, you can mix brown and black. I'm giving you permission. Yes, you can mix blue and black. I'm giving you permission really really easy to wear and they've got this great little inset side zip so one of my faves if you want to go just a little bit more neutral and or if you're just looking for a fabulous boot this guy is your answer so another sock booty in suede now what i love about this is that this is such a fabulous shoe to wear with all your vegan bottoms i'm not a huge fan of mixing leather shoe with a vegan pant right because I think it's just a lot of slick. Sometimes I think if there's like something going on there, like, I don't know, like a Nicki Minaj, like Cardi B kind of moment where she's like all vegan head to toe and there's something powerful and cool about that, but I'm gonna be real, I, I don't think I can pull that off. So I like to kind of mix up my leathers a little bit. So getting a suede booty back to a vegan pant is really chic. And again, because of this more sock booty shape and all that means is that it's more like fitted around the ankle, comes up a little bit higher. This is a really, really nice shoe to wear with all of your ankle length and crop down. Make them work for you, gang. I mean, we didn't buy that crop denim just to wear it in the summer and the fall. We're gonna wear it all winter long, right? Yeah, let's embrace it. They're wondering if they should pre-treat any of those shoes before wearing them in the snow. Uh, snow! Oh, it's our arch nemesis, isn't it? I know. Um, satin and the fabric ones, no. The suede, I would... I'm just like, you know, I probably would. Okay. I mean, you're so responsible. I love that you're asking that question. I mean, we should all be that kind to our footwear. So yes, I would with the suede. 
but I don't know that you can with your fabric shoes just because I think it'll change the color and or the it'll it could interact with the material in a way that we all be really sad about like it would take away all the fun kudos to whoever asked that question like you are doing all the things you are also the person I am sure of it when you put up all your decorations for the holidays everything is organized we all and, and respect you in your organization okay should we turn it up a little bit like really like becomes fun and sparkly ah, let's do it this is so fun okay fabulous top this is from sanctuary now here's the dealio sanctuary every holiday season comes out with a fabulous sparkle top and this is the new version it's so fun so love this from sanctuary what's so great about this game all the disco on the outside all the softness on the inside so you're not going to put this on this is not the top you got when you were 21 and looking for a cute little outfit for new year's and you went to you know fast fashion store got something for real cheap and you wore it all night and you're like and getting a rash because this is so itchy. This is not it. Amazing construction. I love this little mock neck. Easy on, easy off with that zip. A fuller sleeve. And again, this is an easy one. You can tuck it in or leave it out. This is all the statement you need. Look at this with a jean. How fun would that be? And then I would grab this gunmetal boot. Mm, that screams hotty patati. Love, love, love this look really really fun one to wear and you know sanctuary runs true to size absolutely send it on if you want to see how this looks on check out mallory in our catalog she's wearing this with a pair of cream bottoms this is the vegan bottom from cut which i absolutely adore this is a way to really dress it up a more fun kind of winter white look which i think is so incredibly chic this pant blowing out gang it's got this great front slit to it the seaming is unbelievably flattering one of my faves so if you're looking for a dressy unexpected pant for the holidays this is absolutely the way to go do you feel like that runs true to size Heidi that this, sparkle top this top absolutely sanctuary is such an amazing fit true to size in this one do not worry about going up or going down true to size for sure Oh, look, someone's calling in the store. Maybe they see this shirt and they want to get it. Side note, your friend Anne would like you to bring those shoes so she could borrow them. Oh, yes, on it. On it, Roby. I'm already bringing her a couple of <laughs> So we're just going to keep doubling down. All right, let's stay with the sparkle. How fun is this? Same idea, gang, but in more of a blazer silhouette. And what I think is great about this is that it's more of a duster jacket. So shorter length so you're not going to have that long long length easy to layer underneath the jacket for those of you that asked about snow how to style we're going to make this easy 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 pop on a white tee that's all you need to do grab that perfect white tee pop it on underneath this tuck it into your jeans put on a little fun again sparkly shoe or i think this matte gunmetal would be so cool with this and you're done that is your holiday look. And then if you want to dress it up, switch it out for a different bottom. A great no-ho trouser would be a fabulous pairing back to this. And suddenly, the whole looks elevated. Easy, easy. Now, what might be one of my favorite pieces in the catalog, and you might recognize this because it was on the front cover, a velvet blazer. So just like that great sparkle jacket we were talking about from Sanctuary, a velvet blazer does all the things. It dresses up, feels like you're more put together, it's flattering, it gives you shape. Let's go for it. So the first one I wanna talk about is from Blank NYC. This is the front cover jacket. What's gorgeous about this is that it feels like it's got a little touch of tuxedo details. So really elevated. More of a relaxed silhouette and stretch in this puppy. So really, really easy to wear. Simple, simple. I would dress this up the same way you did with that great sparkle jacket, a tee, a great pair of jeans, out the door in a flash. They're wondering if you could try that on. I can. I'm gonna look like a crazy person because I'm not encouraging you to wear velvet on velvet. Let's, let's, let's be clear. <laughs> I always worry that like someone's gonna hop on halfway through and they're gonna be like, oh, wow, that's a, that's a bold choice she made there, putting <laughs> velvet, especially red and green. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go for it, guys. All right, let's just have fun with this, all right? We're gonna pretend that this is a t-shirt that's not green velvet. Okay, so here's the deal. You can see, this is a small on me. It's meant to be a little bit more relaxed. 
really, really easy to layer in this fun, yummy cranberry color. It doesn't get any better than this. Such a great piece. And here's the thing about red, is that I think it can feel maybe a little on the nose for holiday, right? Like, oh, look, she's wearing red. Just like, oh, look, she's wearing green. But here's the deal. What I think can be so fun about a cranberry is when you mix it up. So wear a gold shoe with it. Wear a blue shoe with it. Make it feel a little bit more just in that jewel tone family instead of going so all out holiday. Pair it with a t-shirt, pop on some gold jewelry, and you're good to go. I don't think it has to feel so, so in your face. Kind of play around with it and have some fun. They're also wondering what shoes you would pair with the sparkly top and the cream denim. Oh yeah, good question. I mean, I think there's a couple ways you can go with that one. I'm gonna be crazy. You're gonna think I'm nuts. Bear with me on this one. You could wear a really cute sneaker with a little metallic kit. I know, I know, it's nuts, it's a nuts idea, but I'm kind of into it right now. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it with sneakers and vegan pants and then like a more dressy top I think could be so fun. For those of you that don't want to do that, I see you, I hear you, you think I'm nuts though. Here's what I would do instead. I would do a really simple slide or heel. I mean, I do think you could wear the gunmetal because that slit on this vegan pant is so cool and it would be a great way to show that off, right? You could see that right underneath the boot. I also think because there's a little touch of silver and that sequin can kind of go silver, white, black, right? You could do a black booty or just a simple little cream slide would look really, really nice with it. I know we have one, I just don't have it right here in front of me, but like a little backless um, slide mule would be really fun too. Helpful? Helpful? Yeah, that's okay. All right, we've got a few more party things we just gotta talk about. I gotta talk about this because Mama Mama is this a cute one. So beautiful. This is from Rivet. You know their jumpsuits are amazing they fit so well and this is a great piece because it's so versatile so here's the deal with rivet and what i do with their jumpsuits i consider them an investment so i'm going to make them work hard for me i layer them i change them up i roll the bottom i put on sneakers i put on a heel i really want to feel put together so this is more of a satin fabrication but you know rivet always has a little bit of stretch in it this great seaming detail so flattering and a zipper that lets you kind of with how low you go. So if I was wearing this to dress up chic, I'm taking the shoes I have on right now, I'm wearing this, I'm probably gonna unsnap that, not snap and maybe work it down just a little further, just a little, pop on some great gold necklaces, and that is my night outlook. Elevated, fun, New Year's, if you dress up for the holidays, this is a fabulous way to do it. If I'm going to something that's maybe a little bit more cash, but still I wanna feel festive and holiday, I'm gonna pop on a tank. So an easy one to do would be either that great ribbed Z Supply or the seamless cami that I have on right now that I wore last week that's so fabulous from Z Supply. Just pop that guy on because it's fitted easy. Keep it open so you can actually see the cami underneath. I do a little roll on the hem, pop on, here's where those fun sneakers come in, pop on a great sneaker, and now I'm more casual. And then the most casual version yet, I would pop this on with a great little boot and put on a more fitted layer underneath, like a thermal, and it's got this festive fun shine to it, but still kind of cash, right? Good one. Heidi, could you really quick talk about the sizing of your jeans? Yes. A lot of people are asking about that. That's a really good question. So here's the thing with ammo. I, I'm always super cautious about saying size down, but I have now bought enough ammo that I will say that I do size down in these jeans. So I am almost always a 26 across the board. That is the size I wear, that is what I buy. The only exception I make when it comes to denim is when I am wearing cut, right? In cut, I go down a size. But in ammo, I have made an exception. I find that they stretch because their denim is so beautifully washed and perfect and yummy that I need to go down a size in these. So in the Chloe crop, I'm a 25. And after they warm up a little bit, and I mean, they, you know, there's a little bit of a <gasps> when I zip them up, but once I get them on and I'm walking around in them, I do find that they're so crazy comfortable. So that's, that's my fit in there, okay? All right, we talked about the jumpsuit. I gotta bring in some sparkle and shine because mama, are these fun. All right, let's start with this 
beautiful sparkle dress. This is from Everly. It is like wearing a disco ball. It's so fun. Look at all the incredible colors in this. I gotta tell you, I wish I had something I was doing this holiday season. If any of you are having a party and would like me to come, I would wear this because it's so fun. Such a great little fit. So more of a balloon sleeve, so I love that it has arm coverage. I never ever understand why holiday dresses are always completely sleeveless. I want a little bit of a cap sleeve, I want a short sleeve, I want a long sleeve, I get cold. Open neck here, which is so flattering and so pretty, and a little bit shorter length, which is a great way to be styled. Now, how do you wear this? Yes, you can absolutely wear it with a fun sparkle shoe. You could also make, keep it more simple, just wear a little black booty with this, or you could even do a taller, simple black boot. Really, really fun one to wear. Again, this is from Every, true to size, really beautifully lined, so you, again, you're not gonna get that scratchy, itchy situation. And then, if you wanna just go all out and go with something a little bit more stretchy and easy, can we talk about this fabulous dress? You know this silhouette game, right? It's one that you look at it on the hanger and eh, it's okay. Pop it on your bod, a million bucks. So here's the magic of this dress. It blouses over a little bit. It's gonna be hugging you all the ways on your legs and backside. Gives you some really beautiful shape. And there's that cap sleeve so you're not totally bare. This is a fabulous, fabulous one to grab this beautiful level 99 velvet blazer and pop it on over your shoulders if you want a layer. So you can pop it on, pop it off, kind of depending on where you are. What shoe? This is where I would go with your great little sock booty. An easy, easy one to pair with. How great is this dress game? This is like, I will compare this dress very similar and fit to the Michael Starr scrunch dress that we all adore, right? Same idea. All that ruching equals so much forgiveness. Really fun one. Okay, this top, um, the sparkle top is paired with these online. Oh, so they want to know more about these pants. These, yes, these are so good. Okay, so these versus the vegan, right? We're going to talk about this jean for a minute. This is the good classic from Good American in this beautiful cream denim. We started talking about cream denim for winter last year. I think some of us were like, I don't know, does that seem nuts so like cream denim? Do we really want to go there? Oh yeah, we do. Winter white is such a fun way to freshen up your denim wardrobe this time of year. And the best part is you can carry it all the way through spring and summer. So this guy, the good clash classic. What I love about this is this is your truly classic fit. It's more, oh, someone's angry out there. It's more of a straight leg um, silhouette with just a Titch, just a titch of a taper. Gap proof waistband. This is why we love Good American because you don't get that back gap, right? It's gonna hug all your curves in all the best ways. And it really, this is that great seaming that they do too, makes your legs look extra long. So if you are hesitant about white and cream denim, I assure you this is a great one to start with because they are so flattering. I also think they looked at the details in this, right? They kept it super clean. So you're not fighting a lot of details with the hardware. You can pair this back to a great little more like wintry sweater, which would be so fun. Back to this, I mean, how cute is that, right? Or you can go more elevated, the way we showed it in the catalog with that great um, sparkle and shine. Or you can go monochromatic with something like this. So, so many ways to style these. Such a fabulous, fabulous jean. Absolutely love these. Okay, let's talk monochromatic. I mean, like, we like just, you guys just brought me right into it, so we're gonna talk about it. I think this is a really fun way to get dressed for the holidays without having to be over the top. And if you're not a sparkle and shine person, I hear you, I get it. We've got an alternative that's really beautiful. So I just pulled out that great sweater. This is again, it's from Every. It's got that fun, strong shoulder. And I think there's something about a little bit of a plaid or check that always feels right for this time of year. In the neutrals, it's so rich. You could wear it with that great vegan bottom or the cream Good American that I just showed. Love both those options. Also, more casual way to do it, but equally chic is this fabulous top from Barley. I love the kangaroo pocket on this. The ribbing detail gives it some great structure. This three quarter zip, this is a silhouette we started seeing a lot last year and it is continuing for this year. And what I love about this is that if you want a sweatshirt but you get hot, here's your answer. You can unzip it a little bit. It also can be kind of, you know, you 
see a little bit of something, something going on there. And the hardware is beautiful on this with the gold. So fun. Now, here's a really cute combination. This is from Faraday. Now, we just blew out of this version when we brought it in earlier this year. New colorways. I love this one in particular. I'm a little obsessed with it. So navy, a great, more of a neutral, and then your bone combination. What's so fun about a ribbed Henley is that it is easy to wear. It's a fabulous layer. Pop it on, wear it underneath a jacket, wear it underneath a sweater or a cardi. This is actually more of a sweater knit, but you can see it's sewn more like a tee. So you can really wear it either way. I love this really simple with a pair of jeans, but I particularly love it underneath a fabulous vest. So this, another goodie from every, I mean, does the goodness stop? I mean, can I talk about our designers? They are just knocking it out of the park. Such a fun one with this fabulous vegan and Sherpa mix. These two combined with just a great little jean would be such an easy Thanksgiving look. How fun is that? And especially I think when our weather is still kind of in between her, this is an easy one to wear. All right, so we get in between our weather. Sometimes we just need a great jacket that's not too heavy, not too light. Here is the deal. I've got two really fun, again, these options are both from Barley. So darn cute. So the first is this great quilted fabrication with this sweater collar. I love this one because I think it feels a little bit more finished and put together. And that sweater sleeve and collar is so stunning. I think Barley runs generous. I go down a size in these jackets. The second is this really fun, almost like a poncho style, but easy on, easy off with that great zipper and a crossover. It's lightweight gang, so it's just enough of that coverage to really keep you warm. I love the length on this, right? Long enough to cover that tush. Really, really fun and easy to wear and a great one to layer. This is also a fabulous travel jacket. So if you're looking for something you can take with you on a trip, throw it in a bag, don't worry about it getting wrinkled or taking up too much room, here is your answer. Okay, and last but not least, for those of you who are going sporty this season, Sparkle, we gotcha. Monochromatic, beautiful creams, we gotcha. But what about those of you who are running around, doing all the things and wanna look put together while doing it? Shall we a pre-ski together? Let's do it. You don't need to be on the slopes, you just need to look like you are. And there's so many fun sporty details. So the first way that I think we're bringing this to life, I'm just gonna flash this again, is in a great Fair Isle sweater. So this is one of my absolute favorite sweaters from the catalog. Everybody loves a good cozy turtleneck this time of year, and this one is stunning. Black, white, gray, my personal favorite colors. I know they're not really colors, but they're my favorites. And I know many of you like a good neutral as well. The knit on this is so, so pretty. Easy one just to throw on. You don't have to worry about half tucking this guy. It's just gonna look good on its own. Pop this on, my jeans, and then a little pair of loafers. I'm done and done. Gift wrapping party, here I come. Another great way to embrace this trend is with a more kind of what I'm calling a ski chalet sweater. Okay, the first is this great ribbed turtleneck. Now what's great about this one? Number one, I love it for a gift. Under a hundred bucks, really, really cute. And it's a nice one to layer. So I managed in this, underneath a great little jacket, a pair of jeans, your Sorrells or your Pajar boots, um, done and done. How cute will that be? And the sportiness of it, I think is so fun without feeling costumey. I think this is where we have to like draw the line, right? You don't want to feel like you're in, like it kind of reminds me of that Gucci movie. Did everybody see that with Lady Gaga? I mean, she was so fabulous in her like Italian ski vacation. But let's be real, right? We're gonna channel that energy, but we're gonna bring it home to our house. So we're gonna make it more sporty, more fun, more playful. Another way to do it, another great sanctuary sweater. I absolutely love the knit of this one. This would be a great gift, under hundred bucks. The bright red, the black, the white, it's definitely 70s ski vibes, but done in such a cool, cool way. What to wear this with? Well, um, can I introduce you to your new favorite pant? This is from Sanctuary. Front seam, pull on pant, acts like a ponty pant, performs like a legging. So, so, so comfy. What I think is really great about this guy is that front slit. So, 
easy to wear with boots. I'm always struggling with that when I have to put on my cold weather boots. Your great little low puffer boot will be so fun to wear with this. And this front seam and detail holds it all in so, so flattering. If I was gonna layer it up, here's how I would do it. I would get this fantastic jacket from Every. Here's the deal about this jacket and why you're going to love it. Oh, I mean, look at me, I'm so cute. My vegan quilted jacket. I'm just gonna, oh, it's snap, I'm gonna open up here. I'm just gonna put it on, because you know, it's so fun, right? Look, I've got this great jacket, it's longer, it's warm, but it doesn't feel too puffy, so it's kind of chic. Pockets, it doesn't love a good pocket. Guess what? I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna take this jacket and I'm gonna make it go a little more casual. Ah, it's reversible. No joke, how fun is that? So you get this fun black and white plaid on the other side, you just clip that tag off, gang, okay? And now I've got a more skirt, sporty blend plaid jacket to wear this way. Same thing, I still have functional pockets on this one, they're just clipped closed, but you just open those up. Two jackets in one. So if you're looking for a jacket to take on a long weekend and you need to be dressed up sometimes and casual sometimes, this is your answer. How fun is this? Question. They would also love to see the faux suede jacket from Z Supply on. Oh, Never get yes. the okay. chance to oh, pop that on. I'll put that one on for you. But I just had to show you this because I think it's so fun. Reversible jacket. What a deal. And the construction on this is so nice. It's really cozy but not too heavy. So again, a really great one for when that weather's kind of in between her. Or you're just looking for something really easy. They're loving that in the chat. Right? It's so cute, isn't it, gang? I mean, how fun. Like, it's just a great little topper. Throw it on with a t-shirt even. Or just, I, I love it, of course, styled with this fun little turtleneck underneath. Two looks in one. So cute. Okay. The piece de la resistance. Right? Our faux suede jacket from Z Supply. This has been a love, love, love from the catalog. I adore it. To me, this has like Aspen ski chalet vibes, right? So this kind of toes line between that monochromatic look and that fun kind of a pre-ski look. How gorgeous is this? Now you know Z Supply, they run generous. This is an extra small. I'm only wearing this top underneath. You need to think about how you're gonna layer. So if you think you're gonna be wearing sweaters underneath this or bulkier pieces, I might wear my true size. If you think you're gonna keep it really lighter underneath this, so thinking like shirting, like, like maybe you're just popping on an easy plaid shirt underneath this. How cute is this one, by the way? A little bit of sparkle and shine in this one. Or you're gonna be wearing just a simple Henley, like our little fairy that we love so much. Then I will go down a size. So I think you just have to decide how you're gonna layer it up, but it's so darn cute, right? I know. This is a cute comment. They love the jacket so much that they wish they lived in a colder climate. Ah! You just gotta come visit. See, you need a cute jacket for the visit. I know, it, it's so true. This is one of the things about living in a colder climate that I laugh about, because when we built our house a few years ago, we built this giant mudroom, not for any other reason, quite honestly, except for all the jackets. Just so many jackets. You need one for every possible temperature turn. Okay. There we go, gang. All of the fun, amazing pieces from our holiday one catalog. Don't forget there's one coming in December too. So many great ideas on how to dress things up, how to keep it cash, how to a pre-ski, all the things. We've got them coming at ya. I hope this gave you some fabulous ideas on how to get ready for the holidays and get shopping, gang, because I'm telling you, the stuff is flying out the door. Let's be ready to sparkle and shine. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.